Hey guys, so I'm chilling on my counter again and I'm going for another reverse dip which I'm like experimenting with. I find it interesting. It's my second try, except this time I'm going to be um, going on a yellow background, as you can see. All right, you guys, so I've got my damp wet towel here. This is so fun. It's fun to be precise. I like, you know. Okay. <clears throat> so what I have to do is I have to be patient. So I have to remove this and just let it be, okay? That's my goal. Always set yourself goals with fluid painting. Don't just go in and just do anything.
All right, you guys, so I'm going to be strong and back away because I just feel like continuing in with the blue and adding all around it. And I, I feel it. I have this feeling inside of me. When I get to that point, it means I have to stop. <laughs> That's when you have to stop. When you feel too much like, oh, maybe uh, I could add a little bit there and a little bit there. Oh, I think I'm going to add another layer. No, man. Back away. I'm loving the overall look. I think that what I like most about this technique is when you pull the paper towel, how it twists in the middle. And that middle part is everything. It looks 3D. It's so freaking cool. And with the cloud mix. Oh, man. And I think I prefer it this way. It's getting dark now. Or maybe this way. Okay, I'll stop and we'll look at it dry. Hope you guys like this. Stay tuned for the dried result. Back with the dried result. And the colors are exactly the same. Arteza paints, I think I'm in love with you. What is up with that 3D center? It's so cool. The yellow around it is not perfect though. And that's a bit hard for my perfectionism. It's kind of hurting my eyeballs. So I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna resin it. It's it's worth a resin this one. With that yellow popping up. And I like it in this direction here. This is my favorite direction. But for you guys to see the overall look on the camera, it's better like this. Hope you guys like this. I'm off to try this on a 20 by 16. Have a good one.